Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome to Eben Tech Studio. Thank you very much for watching my videos on YouTube. Before we begin today's tutorial, I would like you to click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell to get notified of every content we put online. Make sure you have liked and shared the video as well. So in today's video tutorial, we are going to learn how to create lower third lyrics and then song and then bring that feedback into OBS. So without wasting much time, let's move in into Easy Worship and then OBS. So this is my OBS, which is opened. And then this is my Easy Worship, which is open. So there are a couple of settings that we need to do in Easy Worship so that we can create a lower third and then bring that in our OBS. So this is very ideal for people who are watching online or streaming your content or your service online. And then it's also ideal for people who will be watching the video, the recorded video later. So why do we do this? We do this so that um, when you are watching or following online, you can read the scripture um, at the lower third of the video. Or if you are if you are recording to, you can still do same. Now, in this method, you will not be able to view the scriptures at large in the auditorium because you have made it a lower third. So lower third is actually bringing the content to the lower part of the video, okay, or the um, your canvas or your image. So let's look at what we'll be able to do. So first of all, we come to settings and uh, life, and then we choose options. So when you come to general, by default, you would um your output monitor might be set to primary or second uh, secondary so this is my primary monitor and this is how it looks like okay this is my primary monitor so the settings that i would want to do as i said earlier it will be at large when you have it set to your secondary monitor or the or the prime monitor so you can view it large as this but because we want to create a lower third and then bring it into easy worship what we have to do is that we come to the live option the live menu and then we click on options and then when we come to general i'm going to change mine from primary monitor mind you i've not connected any projector to my machine i have it um i so i have only prime monitor and then custom position so i'm going to choose custom position and then I will maintain the position by default. So the width is 640 and then the height is 360, left is zero and the top is zero. I will maintain this. And then when I come to song, this is where I have to do a couple of settings. So the song, I'm going to change the song uh, vertical alignment from center to bottom. And then I will reduce the font size to about eight. So it is at the lower side or the lower part of the screen and then that is what um this is okay so when i come to the scripture i change the scripture vertical alignment to button and then i release it to eight as well so usually i would want my reference to be a normal size okay and then i change the reference location from the bottom right to top center so that i have it this way and i, I would also want to make my reference font yellow this is your choice okay so as for this one they are just your choices that you would want to do and then when i'm done i'll just click on the okay button so now when i double click let's say i double click and i go live easy worship is going to project the content to a custom window that is located at this portion okay the left top side of my screen okay so now when i come into obs when i come into obs so this is my video from my camera which is coming in into obs so what i do is that i want to add uh, a window capture the reason why i'm adding a window capture is that now easy worship is not projecting to a tv screen or a projector it's projecting to a window that it has created just that it doesn't have a border that is how come you are just seeing it as blue um, bodies. So now let's click on window capture. I add window capture. Then I come to window. Which window? I can see easy worship live output. So I select easy worship live output. And then I click on OK. So now this is layered. The window capture is layered over the video. So I will 
bring it down to cover up the entire video so now once that it is covering the entire video the video is beneath the the easy worship content so let's say if i change anything it changes over here too as well so now what i will do to it is that i want to remove the blue background from easy worship so now i'll select the window capture i'll right click and i'll choose filters and then i'll add a filter i'll add i can choose color key or chroma key but let me choose chroma key and then in the chroma key i'll choose blue the blue color then i will reduce the similarity so that i can see the white a little bit so this is the content once i can see the white i'm okay with it i close it and then this is what i have now so i will push okay i will move the the um the window capture upwards so that it doesn't come beneath the um the the video so i'll move it a little bit upwards uh, so that it will be a, a a margin between the scripture and then the 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 bottom part of the video so now any scripture i change will be reflected in in the in the um in obs so now let's see if i can search for a song so this is a song if i change to a song too i'll be able to do that same Oh, this one, um, the song is showing too vertical. It's because of the way I tap the song. That's how come. Yes, let me see. So, this is how you'll be able to um, create a lower third and then. But mind you, your audience, you see, they can't read from the auditorium. The reason is that the lower third you have, um, you have, you have, you have created, they can't read it. Okay, so they are not able to read it. And then, mind you, you are projecting to a window on that same laptop screen or desktop screen that you are using you are not projecting to a projector or a secondary so, so they are not able to see that now what you can do is that you can right click on obs window and then choose full screen and then select your projector from here i can't select this because this is my prime monitor so i haven't connected a projector or a splitter when i connect i'll be able to see that and select that one but mind you as i said this is lower third so people in the auditorium cannot read they cannot read from afar it's very small and it's very ideal for people who are following online or people who are um i mean watching the recorded video because you can record or you stream so thank you very much for watching this video later in some part of the videos i will show you how you'll be able to project a lower third to only those who are watching online and then a full screen of the scripture in the auditorium it is possible you can do that it is possible so thank you very much for watching my video stay tuned like the video and share the video and then if you need any assistance as usual you can just um, link up to the numbers displayed on the screen bye